I'm uh, Dr. Roy Schmidt. Um, I uh, am the medical director of the uh, Hyperbaric Center in, uh, West, in West Tennessee, as well as the medical director of the Pain Specialist Center here in Jackson, Tennessee. In this particular chamber, as you can see uh, by the size, I'm standing here in front of it, uh, is a multi-chamber, uh, meaning that uh, up to six people can actually be inside the chamber. We usually only put four just for comfort. The reason for having a hyperbaric uh, chamber, chamber that is a multi-person -cham multi chamber is um, due to the fact that uh, it does increase the safety as far as potential adverse effects uh, from the uh, hyperbaric oxygen. A single chamber uh, is usually pressurized with 100% oxygen, so the whole chamber inside is 100% oxygen. Uh, the oxygen inside the chamber itself remains at 21% oxygen, just like the atmospheric uh, pressure. Uh, but on the other hand, the patient is breathing 100% oxygen uh, through the special uh, mask uh, and hood. This particular chamber uh, is built to stand six atmosphere of uh, pressure. Uh, there are very few indications in medicines to use high pressures above uh, three atmosphere, so we actually have set up this chamber to um, stop at three and there's a fail-safe valve in order so that it will not go uh, above three. Uh, but the construction of it, it's uh, made to stand six atmosphere of pressure. Uh, a lot of the home uh, chambers that uh, you may see on the internet, uh, they do go to 1.3 atmosphere. Uh, number two, they usually do not uh, have 100% oxygen. Uh, you do need a medical license to prescribe 100% uh, oxygen. There is a uh, very interesting development uh, over the last couple of years uh, that has come out of the uh, injuries from the Iraq war and uh, Afghanistan where these soldiers have uh, come back with multiple brain injuries and the military for example is starting to use uh, hyperbaric oxygen for post-traumatic stress syndrome as well as for head injuries. Uh, in addition uh, uh, there are other uh, head insults uh, such as um, uh, from birth uh, that may include autism, cerebral palsy, um, that um, are due to a lack of oxygen and this therapy can uh, reverse some of those damages. Most commonly we use um, hyperbaric oxygen therapy for wound care and you can go to any major hospital and they will have a hyperbaric center that will provide uh, wound care um, as well as hyperbaric uh, oxygen therapy for those wounds most commonly obviously is the diabetics. Uh, on the other hand, there's a multitude of indications that uh, we call them off-label. It does not mean it's experimental, it just means that it's not uh, approved by insurances. In the United States, uh, hyperbaric oxygen for off-label usage is mainly used for head injuries, uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome, um, head traumas, um, cerebral palsy, autism, Lyme disease uh, is also used um, for uh, recovery from surgery, especially uh, plastic surgery. Uh, it does uh, improve and facilitate the healing after plastic surgery. Um, one of the other indications that is becoming more popular is to improve the function of the body. We have learned that a two hour treatment at two atmosphere pressure uh, will increase your stem cell count in your, in your body and indirectly we do believe that an increase in stem count can improve to heal parts of the body that are damaged which may include, um, in, in, include uh, better uh, organ function which indirectly means that uh, your body will function better and po possible even um, uh, delay diseases that otherwise uh, we would get at an earlier um, age. And so um, it, it can be used as a um, holistic type um, therapy.